Hey guys, uh, this is Song. Um, I want to talk to you about my scout and uh, uh, the time that I put in shooting this gun. Uh, I want to give you my feedback, okay? Uh, so people uh, ask me, uh, what do you think about scout and compared to your impact, right? Uh, you know, you can't compare scout to the impact impact uh, compare impact to the scout because they both have their purposes right my impact right there 800 millimeter uh is shoot awesome shoot 32 a uh at a, at 1100 feet per second and my scout uh i changed my tune from a 32 a shooting a 40 grain at 1100 feet per second so I decided to go with heavy slug. And let's talk about the gun and the tune. Okay. So um, the only, you know, modification that I have uh, is I got Scout to make me a kit that I can use my FX liner, 800 millimeter, one and 14 twist. Okay. That's the only thing, right? Uh, and a lot of people complaining Scout uh, is really loud, right? But I got modification for you guys. So what I did, I plug up the hole right here. I use uh, what you call an O-ring and I epox it so it will uh, stay in there, right? So this modification make your gun a lot quieter. And I also use this clock right here to collect the uh, the lead dust, and you can see how dirty this thing is, and also help damping the sound, right? So by do by by doing this modification, your gun will be a lot quieter. It just add quiet my impact, okay? So. Uh, this gun shoot awesome. I'm gonna uh, uh, show you. I shoot Lyman at 100 yards. I'm gonna show you like you know how good this gun is using this 40 grain slug. All right. So like I said, 32 a 1100 feet per second. This is the 30 cal shooting FX uh, hybrid slug at a thousand feet per second, and 40 grain slug at 1100 feet per second. So let me show you my tune, okay? So right now, my low set at about 200 give and take, right? And my uh, rig pressure set a little bit over 2000, okay? And also, the dual time you have to go in and mess around with those, right? So the factory dwell time set at 23. Correct me if I'm wrong. So um, so by changing the number up or down, it depends uh, on what you're shooting and how long your barrel is, right? So if you have a 600 millimeter, your dwell time might be low and you if you have longer barrel, your dwell time might be a little, little higher. Since I have an 800 millimeter and I'm shooting a 40 grain slug, so it take the 40 grain, you know, a little longer to leave the barrel. So you have to play with that dwell time, okay? By So the way I tune my gun, this is the way I tune my gun. I mean, if you guys have different way of tuning it, uh, let me know, I wanna try it but this is the way I tune it. So, um, first, I mess with the low uh, the low pressure, right? And I get the best grouping that I can. And after that, I go to my dwell time, and then I change my dwell time uh, up to for every five shot group. Uh, Sometimes, you know, your grouping gonna open up at 50. Sometimes will tie up. So by doing it, you know like is let the valve you know like to control your valve how long your valve will be open 
So at number 32 on the wall time, I got the best grouping. Okay, for a 40 grain slug. Okay, but for 32, my dual time only like, I believe 26. And compared to the 40 grain is 32, right? So uh, by changing those number, it will improve your grouping big time. And also the air cons consumption on this is like awesome, right? You can, it, you get a lot of chat count. So um, what else? That's pretty much about it. It doesn't take a lot the modification at all to make this gun shoot fast, okay? So the only thing that you need to do, turn that rake up. So I'm like one of the guys like to push the limit. I know uh, Scout see my tune, you know, we put a high, high rake pressure, you know, this and that. Uh, it might make him nervous, but hey, you know what? That's what we're here for, right? To uh, to wish to see what the gun capable of you know i want to see what this guy can do i'm gonna you know try to use the maximum output that i can for this gun anyway so the gun is not at the full potential yet so uh, but i think this gun got more to give when it comes to power okay so uh, I will get to that point. If somebody come up with heavier slug, I will try those uh, in 22. Okay. So as of right now, the gun is awesome, shoot good, uh, perform really good. So I'm going to do some grouping. Um, I'm sorry, not grouping. I'm going to shoot some lemon at 100 John and um, just to mess around. Okay. And you guys can tell like how stable the 40 grain is uh, and uh, how accurate the, the gun is, all right? And also by making modification to this, is uh, it doesn't change your point of impact at all. Your accuracy is still the same, okay? So, um, and also listen to the gun is, uh, you can tell like from my past video and now, the gun is a lot quieter. All right, take care. All right, guys, uh, let's go ahead and shoot some lemon at the distance of 100 John, just to mess around, having fun, okay? Nothing particular. Uh, it's pretty easy to shoot lemon at the distance with this gun. Um, <clears throat> like I said, I shoot 32 egg. No, not 32 egg, a 40 grain Verma knocker at 1100 feet per second uh, it is it can be gonna be fun all right so uh, listen to the silencer it's got a lot quieter okay and I just want to let you guys know those lemon up there is is the lemon that I'm picking from the ground okay that you can use them all right I don't shoot good lemon I don't want you guys to think I'm wasting you know good lemon but I'm not okay all right let's have some fun uh, let's shoot at the steel target first and then uh, and then we shoot at the lemon all right so it's nice you can see it's hit pretty hard at that distance Look at that, it's a hard hitting gun, okay? So, 40 grain at 1100 feet per second. That thing will do some damage. You can tell that thing flipped the metal target pretty easily. Let's have fun with the lemon now. Uh, let me see what we got, what we got. Let's go with this guy. Oh 
man look at that you can hear how loud that thing is when you hit the lemon so and compared to the silencer you know is it's pretty quiet Oh man, what a solid hit. Love that pot. Alright, what we got? Let's try this guy right here. Jeez. Destruction of the lemon. Oh man, I'm telling you, this gun is awesome. Ooh, I think that's just take the top of the lemon off. Let me try again. Oh yeah. You guys can hear that pop pretty loud. Oh yeah. Alright, let's do a couple more. We'll call it. I don't want to waste too much slug. While we add it, let's let's do some uh, some five chat grouping to show you guys what uh, what this guy can do at the distance of 100 yard outdoor. Uh, where my metal target at? I mean, paper target. There. Oh my goodness, bullseye. Shoot, maybe I should stop shooting her. <laughs> ah, let's do one more. Shit, how many slurk I have left? So I have about seven slurk left, so let's go ahead and chip them all. A nice grouping right there at 100 yard. Oh no, it went high. He went high again. I think I'm pretty close for my rake pressure to drop below my rake pressure. There you go. Alright, we got two more shots left.
there you go cool all right i hope you guys enjoy it all right any question let me know all right you guys take care thanks for watching all right so this is my 100 john grouping you can see a penny right there so uh, I don't know how many shots I got. This is my first shot and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nice tight group here and then two kind of fly out. I think one one of this might be one last shot. Uh, I think I'm kind of dropped like on the borderline of my uh, rate pressure. So, but still though, nice tight group, you know, without these two. That's 100 John grouping. All right, scout. This will be a 40 grain slug at 1100 feet per second.